Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, I was going to do a real fancy, suspenseful unboxing video of the new Dave Canterbury Canteen Shop stainless steel canteen. But, well, uh, I got it in the mail yesterday. I didn't have my video camera yesterday. And so, well, I'm just not that disciplined. So, it's already opened. But, so much for the unboxing video. However, what I am going to do today is I'm going to do a video, tabletop review, of this system. And this weekend, I promise you will get another video, uh, having it out in the field, having fires underneath it, some testing, uh, working with alcohol stoves, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, there might even be dancing girls in that video. I can't guarantee the dancing girls, but I can guarantee further reviews on this. Initially, uh, looking at it, um, I'll give you a point of reference. This is uh, the original uh, USGI canteen set. Um, you've got the stove that nests on the bottom. This one has pretty much seen the wars. And not the wars literally, but I've used it a lot. This is the original kidney shaped stove. This is the original cup. You put the cup on top of the stove with some kind of a heating element underneath it. And that'll heat your food for you. Then you got the plastic canteen for water, pour the water in, you, you're good to go. This whole system, I know a lot of you are concerned about weight. This whole system, I've got my trusty little scale here and as soon as that fires up, I will give you some weights. This is the Canterbury system and the canteen shop system. A um, Couple of unique things about it. First of all, this is a 32 ounce canteen. This is a 39 ounce canteen. As far as I can tell, there is no downside. 32 ounces, 39 ounces. What they did was they didn't taper the bottle as much towards the bottom and it's larger on top. You can see it doesn't come, doesn't neck in quite as quickly. Another big advantage of the, can, of the canteen shop setup is that, see the size of the mouth on this one? and the size of the mouth on this one, this is gonna be much easier to fill. It's gonna be much easier to clean. Uh, if you're camping during the winter, it's gonna be much easier to be able to put snow into the top of this to melt snow for your whole system, for your whole setup. Um, I'll give you a measurement difference here. The lid on this one, the top on this one is about almost Oh, I'd probably give it two and a quarter inches across. The lid on the, the cap on this one is about uh, one and a quarter inches. So this is an inch larger in diameter than this one is. That is a huge advantage when you're practically using this stuff out in the field. As far as weight, forgive me, I'm working in ounces. Um, this, the plastic canteen is five and a quarter ounces. The canteen shop one is 11.7 ounces. So uh, this, is an, uh, this is an extra five ounces over and above this one, but um, for a stainless steel canteen that I can cook in, I will take this extra five ounces of weight any day of the week as opposed to, as opposed to this thing. So that is the canteen itself. It's real solid. Um, this is not a light piece of, a lightly constructed piece of gear. It, it's not going to bend on you. It's got the Canteen Shop and the Pathfinder logo on the front here, so you never forget who makes it. The lid on this is real nice and solid. It's got a, a gasket on the inside here, and this is made out of what I, I'm being told this is made out of a substance called Bakelite, which is what they used to make distributor caps out of. Uh, it's going to be very tough, very hard to break. This is not just a standard cheap plastic lid. And with this gasket in here, this thing is pretty much leak proof as long as you snug it down. So that is the canteen. Let's take a look at the stove and the cup. I'll come back to this in a second. The cup uh, has a couple of really nice features to it. Number one, um, it has the C-type handle instead of what you get on a lot of the older canteens, canteen cups, this one. 
Okay, this, this handle is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, um, but I do prefer this C handle on it. it. I think it gives you a little bit more reach, it's nice and stable, uh, it locks down into these pins back here, I don't know if you can see that, but it locks into these pins, uh, real solid. Another advantage of it is, you can see right here, it's probably about, you know, about a half inch taller than the other, uh, than the original canteen. And the height doesn't necessarily give you the, a lot of the additional storage, but this will actually hold, I want to say it's 25 ounces. I have to put my glasses on to figure that out. There we go, that's much better. This is a 26 ounce cup. This is a 19 in, this is a 19 ounce cup. So this will hold uh, seven ounces uh, more than this one will, and I already checked it with water. Most of the place where it gets it not, isn't so much in the height, but it's the fact that this uh, tapers down and this doesn't taper down. So uh, this is a really nice kit. It's also on the inside here. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll try and get nice and close, but it's got uh, measuring, measuring marks inside here. Right here, it's both got ounces and it's got uh, milliliters and so uh, you get some idea of how much fluid you've got in your cup. Again, real solid construction. Everything in here is good to go. Um, I prefer this handle. Now let's quick check the weight. The weight of the original USGI cup is 8.2 ounces and the weight of the canteen shop is oh, 8.75. So this is only about a half an ounce heavier than this is. I'll take this all day long. Stainless steel, uh, some of these cups are made out of aluminum. A lot of people don't like to cook in aluminum for, for various miscellaneous reasons. Uh, no problem cooking in stainless steel. So that is uh, the comparison of the cups themselves. Next, comparison of the stoves. Uh, this is the new Canteen Shop stove and it's definitely lighter than the original one that I've seen out there and uh, it's also taller. I don't have uh, my, my original canteen cup, my canteen shop stove handy, but I know that this one is definitely taller uh, than the old one is. And aside from that, it's got the raised uh, pieces here so you get airflow underneath. It's got the, the little grid here so that the flames will come through. It's got a nice big uh, door here. So if you are using an alcohol stove, uh, there's plenty of room in here. Here's my alcohol stove. Plenty of room in here for uh, an alcohol stove to fit. No problems at all. Matter of fact, it's slightly higher off the flames. That might give me a little bit better, a little bit better, a more uniform heat. So it works well with the alcohol stove. And if you're putting coals underneath here, uh, it'll allow you to stick more coals underneath here to get a better heat on it. And I'll try that over the weekend. This is the original. Uh, USGI stove, uh, no lid on it. What I do sometimes, you can look at my other videos, I've got a grill top that I make for it, but this is the original one. Let's check the weight out on this. This is 1.8 ounces, and the new canteen cup, the new canteen shop one is four ounces. So it's about three ounces heavier uh, than the old style, but I think this is a very significant improvement. Um, what can I tell, what else can I tell you here? Oh yeah, also, uh, this stove will fit onto uh, the original USGI cups. So a lot, they tried to make this so that it all, uh, it all kind of fits, you know, it's backwards compatible. So this will fit on the old stove. Um, if you want to just use the new style stove, it's definitely lighter than the old one. Uh, I'll have to see how it is as far as durability, but it, no one uh, robbed the canteen shop. I think it should be pretty good. So that is my quick tabletop review of the new uh, Pathfinder School Canteen Shop uh, stainless steel cooking system and canteen system. I'm, I'm really impressed by it. Uh, they really did a nice job. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing out into the field. Again, it's slightly heavier than the old USGI system, but for me, five or six ounces uh, for the flexibility this gives you. Uh, number one, I can boil water in this 
uh, in the canteen, which I can't do with the original USGI system. It's got a larger, it gives me an extra seven ounces of water. Uh, the cup here has internal markings, so I know how much is in there. Um, this this will hold seven ounces more than the original uh, USGI canteen cup. Uh, they, I like the modifications and the changes they made on the stove. It's lighter and uh, taller, which will make a good system. This has the C handle on it, which is the system that I prefer anyway. And it just, everything nests up real nice and easy and clean. It also fits into the standard Molly covers. This is the standard Molly cover that I keep my USGI kit in. And you can see it fits in very comfortably. No muss, no fuss. Fits right in there. So again, they did a really nice job of keeping everything, you know, compatible with the old system. So I don't have to throw away uh, any of my old web gear that I carry this stuff in. So that is my review, at least for this morning, of the new Canteen Shop kit. And I'm impressed. I really, really, really like it. I'm, I'm stoked about getting this thing out in the woods this weekend. I promise you'll see a weekend, a weekend video on this thing, um, cooking and playing with it in the woods and uh, purifying water. But for today, that's it. Uh, everyone have a great day. Um, be safe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and favorite it. Subscribe to my channel. I really hope you learned something today. I know I did when I saw this. Uh, great product. Um, aside from that, be safe and hey, take your kids camping. Everyone have a wonderful day.